Hey Leo, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you your bonus reading. You guys just edged, edged past Sagittarius with the highest viewed of the fire signs. So here we go. Ooh, all right, Leo. Uh -huh. All right, this is showdown at the hoedown. You having a hoedown at the showdown, one of them. Ten of swords, okay. We got the two kings, we got the lovers and the magician. So I have double Gem Gemini with uh, Verga here. We just want to be happy. Can't we all just get along? I'm tired of being miserable. Um, I feel like you're in your, your high alpha energy with a loved one. I feel like some of you guys are standing your ground and setting boundaries with a loved one. I feel like this person might have pissed you off and you just went cold. But you love them. You uh, you might have even cut this person off. And maybe now you're trying to manifest them back. I do feel like you have new love options as well, right? You can go out and pull somebody because y'all are pretty hot and tempting. And I feel like with that Ten of Swords, I feel like you're at your wit's end because you don't know what you want. Ooh. Um, some of y'all might be dealing with two people, by the way. Oh, Lord, Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. Page of Pentacles. This is a hard request. That's a very aggressive. You going to take me back or what? Right? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what that, that looks like. King of, King of Wands is aggressive. We going to be together or what? Uh-oh. Knight of Wands. Oh, okay. Okay, five of wands. There was there was some sort of disagreement here, right? But even though you might have disagreed with your person, you still love them very much, okay? I also feel like some of you guys wanted to teach this person, person a lesson. Um, I do get the sense that there is a bit of game playing going on here. Maybe mind games, especially with that five of swords. You may say one thing and do something else. You may want them to chase you. You may be playing hard to get. Uh, those double kings there in the lead positions just kind of says to me, you're not playing. You're not playing any in any games per se. Like you, you mean business in other words. But I feel like your approach, in your approach, there's game playing. <clears throat> I also feel like if you are mad at somebody or you're teaching somebody a lesson or whatever the scenario is for you, I feel like this person is going to show up and kind of redirect your energy, right? You ever notice how like maybe a lover, loved one, you get real mad at them, but they do something quirky and cute and all of a sudden you just, it's like, I can't stay mad at you, girl, right? That's what that's, this Ace of Wands feels like. Kind of feels like your person is going to say something or do something or just say that one thing. And I feel like you're going to go from king of the jungle to uh, the queen of cats, right? <clears throat> I feel like somebody could offer you an apology and that's what's going to diffuse you. And the way, I just kind of feel like the way in which they're going to offer this apology could be in a very sexy or sultry way. Um, and this person is going to kind of, quote unquote, break you down, Leo. Mm -hmm. With the lovers and the five of swords, I kind of feel like this is somebody who ghosted you or maybe you ghosted or they walked away from you. This is somebody who you were really, really, really connected to. I feel like also at the same time, you want them back, but you don't want them back, right? The magician with the fool card, the magician is, okay, let me dig in my bag and come up with some tricks so I can get, you know, have like this new beginning. Can we wipe the slate clean? Could we just start over? Can you, we just act like you weren't, you know, an a-hole to me, you know, let's go ahead and, um, what is that Tinashe song? Can we pretend, right? Can we pretend 
like all of this didn't happen. Not only that, but I feel like, again, that's a part of this apology. That I can understand why this is a page of pentacles because I kind of feel like the way this person comes back to you, Leo, the way that they approach you, they know what they're doing, right? This is the ace of pentacles. Whatever they say to you is gonna make a huge difference. It's gonna be so um, valuable to you. You're gonna appreciate it. You're gonna love it. This person is gonna be very integral and, you know, upright and on. Well, you know I love you, girl, right? Like, it's almost like this, pers this person knows you and knows what buttons to push for you to be able to release your guards or let your guards down. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're sitting and waiting for them. You're waiting for them. You know this person is coming back. You know they're going to approach. You know they're going to have a story to tell. And I feel like for a lot of you guys too, you're also waiting to reject them. Excuse me, but the way that they lay their stuff on real thick, Leo, you're going to be like, hee <laughs> hee. Like, oh, well, you know, yeah, I did cut my hair, hair last week and yeah, I did put some highlights, right? Like they're going to catch you off guard. That's what it is. They're going to catch you off guard. They know that sweet spot when it comes to you. Not only that, but I'm also hearing between you and this person, flattery goes a long, long, long way. And I feel like with the lovers and the five of swords, if they left, if you left, the intent here, again, is to come back together, is to start over. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing, Leo, and I want you to take heed. If you have sex with this person, y'all are going to be back together. They're going to be yours, right? Like, I feel like if you get physically and sexually close with this person, it's a wrap. Y'all, yeah, look, ace of cups and a four of wands. It's a wrap you're going to be emotionally checked back in or you're going to be emotionally invested with this person again. Now with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands, um, that's in the outcome position. Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem because I feel like the way that they come back in, it's almost like, okay, I got to be careful when I say this. It's not like they're just telling you what they want, what you want to hear. It's not like them just telling you what you want to hear so they can get back into your good graces. It's almost like they're trying to get close, close back to you because whatever it is that y'all went through, it was really bad. It was really, really bad, right? So it's almost like let's love each other first and we can argue or debate and talk about what happened later. That's really, really, really what this feels like because I feel like if they don't take this approach, you're going to hit them with that old Leo pride and y'all will be sitting and just battling, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, instead of up and down, in and out, round and round, right? do see do your partner, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel like this person is wanting to love first and argue later, which I love that. I absolutely love that. So Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands, this is somebody you could live with or was want to marry, is going to marry, is engaged, maybe married to already. I feel like when it comes to why you guys were on the outs, um, it was because uh, it kind of felt like a meeting of the minds, right? One of you guys is incredibly logical. The other one is very hot-headed and pig-headed and stubborn. Right, and, and that doesn't mix. That's like mixing oil and dirt, right? Yeah, they may blend together, but at the end of the day, you're not, you can't do anything with that mixture. You're not gonna bury no oil and you ain't gonna fry no dirt, okay? So I, I just kind of feel like um, when you guys eventually get to the point where you can talk about this, I really would talk about approach. So when we have a disagreement, you know, I'm trying to understand, well, I'm trying to be heard or I have a short fuse or I don't have patience, right? Um, I also kind of feel like for some of you guys, you may initiate the conversation 
And I feel like, like when this person reappears, you Leo may in initiate the conversation, but I feel like your person is going to cleverly def deflect, right? Cleverly defect, def uh, deflect and start with that heavy, heavy, lusty, um, stroking of your ego, stroking of your pride, getting you to purr to quote unquote, draw you back in the, the magician with the, um, full card kind of says to me, can we let bygones be bygones? And I feel like they're going to want to take you out. And when they take you out and y'all get back to your place or their place or someplace, good Lord, you may see Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't lying. Cause I feel like this person does want to come back. I feel like they do want to come back, but they know you're still pissed or you want them to come back and you know, they're still pissed. I'm going to say this. Um, some of you guys, I feel like you are dealing with, um, who is here? I feel like you're dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with another Leo or Mercurian or Gemini. Or somebody who has those positions in their moon or Venus position in their chart. Confidence is the key to success. New moon in Leo. Yeah. This person, whomever they are, they can only they can only address you, address you from where you live, right? They're not coming in as a page or a knight. They can only come to you head on. They can only come to you and say, you know what? Can we talk about what happened? And then when you see them, right, they may decide, Hey, can we go to dinner? Can I take you to dinner so we can talk about what happened? Or, you know, I kind of want to apologize for what I did. And as soon as that person shows up, it's like, they just, they just start to lay it on thick. I mean, like, man, did you lose weight? Have you been to the gym? That ass is looking right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's when the heavy, heavy, heavy flirtation starts. But I feel like to an extent, they know exactly what they're doing because they know to an extent you may eat it up. Be bold and make the first move, moon, move, cardinal moon. So we have confidence is the key to success and be bold and make the first move. Somebody's going to act aggressively here. And, and angels just said, and get what they want. Now, with this being the Knight of Wands, I would say be careful, right? Because for some of you, yeah, this person is just coming in. Now, I can't even say that. I was going to say they're just coming in so they can get you in bed. But I looked at the Page of Pentacles and maybe that's what you think. Oh, you just want to get, you know, lay me down or whatever, whatever. This Page of Pentacles, no, the Page of Pentacles is usually, you know, pretty trustworthy. You know what I mean? But for some of you, yeah, be careful because the Knight of uh, Wands is... Fuck boy, fuck girl. They coming in for sex only. What do you need to release? Yo, ex. <laughs> You're very close. To it as I All right, Leo. I am going to go ahead and leave it here. Uh, I have, before I do, I'll read out the signs. I have Aquarius, Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and that is it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, them and they, if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.